The methodology chapter is one of the most important part of your research. It allows readers to evaluate the reliability and validity of the research. So, in this video, you will learn how to write a strong methodology in three easy steps. First, explain your methodological approach. You have to consider these questions. What was your research problem and what type of data did you need to answer it? Did you aim to describe the characteristics of something to gain more in-depth understanding of a topic or to establish a cause and effect relationship? Also, what type of data that you have to collect to achieve your aim? Did you aim quantitative data, which is expressed in numbers, or qualitative data, which is expressed in words? Did you collect primary data by yourself or use secondary data that was already collected by someone else? Did you gather experimental data by intervening and measuring variables in a controlled situation? Or did you collect descriptive data by gathering observations without intervening? Second, describe your methods of data collection. Here's what you should include in general. The sampling method or criteria you use to select participants or sources, you can opt for probability sampling or non-probability sampling. Describe elaborately the sampling method you use to select participants, the sample size, and response rate. Then, the tools, procedures, and materials you use to gather data, like survey, interview, both structured and unstructured, archival data gathering, or experimental methods. Also, describe what type of questions were asked, where, when, and how the survey was conducted. Lastly, how you measured your variables, especially in quantitative and experimental research. You should give enough detail for it to be replicated by another researcher. Specify the statistical analysis you will employ, such as test of correlation, variance, or difference. Third, describe your methods of analysis. In this step, you should describe how you process and analyze the data. Avoid going into too much detail here, so don't start presenting or discussing any of your results. For quantitative methods, we are dealing with numbers, so you must describe the data preparation before analyzing. The software that were used to analyze the data like SPSS, which statistical methods were used like correlation, paired t-test, or ANOVA. Describe how you prepare the data and how you plan to make your analysis. Whereas, for qualitative methods, we are focusing on words, so your analysis will be based on language, images, and interpretations. You might describe how you went about categorizing the responses to identify recurring themes and patterns. For a more concrete understanding of how to make your methodology, check out these samples. Thank you for watching. If you find this video relevant and wanted to get updates, just hit like and subscribe. Bye!